In Ardha Chandrasana, essentially the whole body is facing sideways except for the standing leg. Now, in this pose, we still want both sides of the waist long, shoulder blades and the collarbones broad, and the standing outer hip is hugging underneath, so we're not so much back bending. There's a lift in the low belly, and there's a feeling of the femur bone pulling into its socket. Okay, for balance, what's most helpful is looking down right underneath your eye sockets, and it's useful to have the hand underneath where the arm inserts into its shoulder socket. And then come out for a second, reorient yourself. So you can have it yourself pointing backward. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, what will happen in this pose is the top leg will swing back and will be sinking in the low belly and the standing leg's hip. So to prevent this, we hollow the low belly and we descend that femur bone. So we're pulling the leg more toward the front of her body a little bit and into its socket. Really, she's just straight, but it feels like it's moving forward. And then relax for one more moment. Reorient yourself the original way, but have your back to the camera. Mm -hmm. Another thing that can happen when we're starting off learning this pose is if that front leg's hip is tight, the toes start to veer toward the front of the body. You want to make sure the hip is really open. So postures like warrior two will help support that hip opening. So the outer hip is pulling back, the low belly is drawing in, and then the core is engaged. There's a feeling of the front ribs knitting together as the shoulders spread and the fingers extend energy through the heel. Very nice.